Tesos the mighty, Tesos the unerring, Tesos the unassailable. To you we give praise. Cut, 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 cut. What do you think you're doing to me, dude? Why are you reading the script wrong? Oh, what did I, uh, did I say any of the lines wrong? I thought I was doing a pretty good reading here. It's Talos, mighty Talos with an L. Oh, Talos. You're right, man. This isn't a big deal. We'll just fix it. Just reread the lines. Oh, this is like an outdoor area. Ah, it's kind of charming, actually, because it's got all the trees. It's completely snow covered. I really like it. It's uh, got kind of a calming essence to it. That may sound kind of dumb, but... I don't know, it just seems kind of generally calming. But then again, I love the cold weather, so a sight like this would be... Mmm, par excellence for me. Yes, I'd want to be bundled up in a nice coat, of course, but... You know, I'd love nothing more to go out in the woods. Not just by myself like an idiot, you know, safety in numbers, but uh, the complete and total stillness, the relaxation of it, the serenity, the calmness. I just love stuff like that. Okay, there are some branching pathways. Yeah, that's, uh, how to put it. I don't like going outside often. I mean, obviously, I'm no, uh, rugged adventurer type, but... Oh, I get it. It's a little bit of a puzzle. Because, uh, the ice... I just effed it up. Well, not effed it up, necessarily, but... I wanted to go there, then, yeah. Whee! Then, I can push it down. Oop. No, come on. There we go. Then, right and up. What? Are you serious? I can't push it up? Oh, come on, you stupid controller! Now's not the time for this crap. Oh, bloody hell, dude, come on! That makes so much sense! Fine, I get what it wants me to do, I think. Would you not get stuck? Ugh. Sorry. Getting irritated. Yeah, you can't do that. It's, uh, that's not high enough. The floor... Oh, whatever. What you... Flipping game. I'm going to punch you. Okay. Thanks for going one tile to a high, but I think I see what the problem would have been anyway, so it's fine. It wants me to alternate. That's all it wants me to do. It just wants me to alternate like a good little... Like a good little boy. Alternate. Back and forth. Would you... Ugh! These thin little corridors. Do not push that. Keep getting stuck on the corners. I keep slipping around. There. Mission accomplished. Ooh, health increase. In by 20% of that. Can't complain about that. That's a nice thing to have on a dungeon. 
a clear and run. Attempted dungeon clearing. I'm very lucky on that one. Ice physics. What? Why do you stop getting stuck? I mean, needs to spray some nonstick spray on this ground, dude. Seriously. Wait, where is? Okay, straight up. I was like, I can't quite make out the map because it's written stupid. 1400. I'm not going to complain about that. Hey, Skellies. Kill him with his own bone. Why do you, why are you hitting yourself, Skeleton? Why'd you kill yourself with your own bone? Oh, that was just an accident, huh? Well, these things happen to the best of us. Or in your case, the worst of us, because you suck! Ha! Gotti. Maybe I should be a little bit more sympathetic to skeletons, considering I helped out a ghost family who was trapped in a mausoleum. But I'm not! I guess to be fair, it's an odd thing. How about a... Should you re... It's not a should or shouldn't, but how much respect should we have for the dead? How high of a regard should we hold them to? Because they're dead. It's like, they don't care because they're dead? But, you know, being unnecessarily callous or spiteful or crude, I mean, there's no point to it. There's no value or benefit from it. So, to be kind of considerate, even for the dead, even though it makes no difference. I don't know. At least in the United States. Oh! No? I thought it was the tile with the two horizontal marks. What? What are the trap buttons? I can't tell at all. What the hell? But as I was saying, in the United States, we generally value the idea of the dead having a certain degree of sanctity. And there is no point or benefit, per se. And I don't know how far to go with that. I mean, I don't know. Should we just make room for the living? Should we, in our uh, the way we live our lives to the fullest, is that how we best respect the dead? And by that, I don't mean being hedonist. I mean caring for the uh, needy, caring for those who are uh, suffering. Basically doing everything we can to make sure that people don't die pointlessly, needlessly, carelessly. I, you know, I just don't really know. Because I've pondered, and I'll probably make a separate video on this concept, but I've wondered like as a theoretical concept, in the future, will we continue to have graveyards? You know, with this idea that we're running out of room, um, especially in large cities, and people are more comfortable with uh, cremating services. You know, how much point will there be in large Graveyards. I mean, it used to be the mausoleums, uh, the boneyards, and that's changed over time. You know how how much different would it really be if we didn't have cemeteries? I mean, with how much we're switching to digitalizing everything, 
and we can keep memories of loved ones. Oh, oops. It's minor, but I want it. Two. Man, that really is minor. So the big ones are just double the value of the small one. Okay, I never really noticed that until I picked up the small yellow and the big yellow one. But, yeah, I mean... I don't know. With so much emphasis on digital uh, mediums anymore, I do have to wonder. It's like, you know, why have a physical marker and memori memory for uh, the, dece the, de the disease? The deceased. You know, why have a system like that? Not saying it's bad that we do, but there just doesn't seem to be a need for it. There we go. You can go up against the tide. I'm gonna really guess that. Wow, another max health. I've got three max health this run? Crazy. I don't know. Just kind of curious about it. Nice, a big yellow one just from a random basic enemy. And I don't think I can smack that with a hammer to make it go down. So I think what it wants me to do... Well, I say I can't smack it down with a hammer. Ah, because I couldn't. I was right. Yeah, I've not really been seeing a lot of new enemy types in this place. They've all just been recycled old enemies. As far as I've been noticing. I don't know. I don't know how many people think about, honestly, kind of macabre things like uh, burying people and graveyards and things of that nature. But it's just stuff that kind of comes to my mind every so often. Yeah, you know, how much things might change. How much things have changed already, and then what might continue to change in the future. Yeah, I think what history really shows us is human beings are very poor predictors of what's going to come down the pipeline. We can make preparations, but... Yeah, you know, there's only so much you can really guess and predict for. attack there. I thought I was stuck and screwed. Holy cow. Wouldn't have had any uh, good friends from that one. But yeah, I mean, humanity is a poor judge of what the future will hold. Uh, I, suppose I guess I don't really have a point to buy anything from him. I mean, we... How to put it? As far as, like, our technological advancements, nobody saw all this stuff coming. I mean, they had... kind of ideas? I mean, these that is the generations that built all these technologies uh, one bit and piece at a time. But, you know, nobody could have foreseen society turning out the way it is now. At least not lock, stock, and barrel. Pieces and portions. You know, having some idea, but... 
I don't know. I just have to wonder. And I guess, to be honest, I mean, this might sound callous, but... I think the reason, uh, for me especially, that the idea of a cemetery seems so outdated, quote-unquote, is particularly because of how much people move around the country nowadays. Families don't as often move into an area and then this is our homeland. You know, this, we, we shan't move away for high, or hell or high water. It just doesn't work that way nowadays. You know, people don't establish a family unit in the same location just for years and years and years and years. I'm not saying it never happens, but, you know, there's a lot more transients. There's a lot more movement around the country. That just wasn't really a thing, uh, you know, a couple of generations ago. So, in order to keep track of all the different family members who get buried all around the country, well, you're gonna need basic... Oh, I got a map. You're gonna need a, uh... Speaking of maps, you're gonna have to track basically where everybody's buried. Oh, well, so-and-so is buried in this state, and they're buried in that state, and... You know, how far away are each of those locations in contrast to one another? How many hours of travel would that be? And how distant is each family member against one another? You know, are any of those family members real close? Or it's like, oh man, that's distant family. That's extended family. You know, would we really go out of the way to visit them? nothing against them. They're a beloved member of the family, but that's a mighty steep drive just for an uncle or a cousin or such and such, right? I don't know. And again, this is such an odd thing to talk about in a video game. It's not... No offense to the game. It's a roguelike. It's a dungeon crawler. It's not a particularly thoughtful, profound, like, hmm, good point, I see what you mean. I don't know. I think about weird stuff at weird times. Just a weird kind of duck, you know? Uh, where's the pairs? Oh, okay, I was like, where's some stairs so I can get up? Dang it! I didn't mean to walk off the edge. Ooh, extra damage with the sword. That's helpful. Yeah, might as well clear this side first, cause... Uh... There's not gonna be anything else over here. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. And I would ask, is anybody else thinking about death and the grave? And, you know, it wasn't that long ago I was talking about I'm not getting any younger. Like, I'm not, like, a profoundly morbid, uh, oh, man, uh, is fruit and doggy real down the dumps and depressed about getting old? It's like, no. You know, it's just completely unrelated claptrap. Just random nonsense I think about. So, uh, I wouldn't worry about me. I wouldn't read, uh, deep meaning like, oh, oh, there's a storm clouds over poor for night. You know, he's, uh, casting a depression and, uh, hardships. And it's like, nah, I'm fine. I'm cool. I am 
I wouldn't say I'm depression proof per se, but I am. I'm just not the type of person to get really too uh, down in the dumps, honestly. I am just a real mellow kind of guy, you know? Things don't really get me down low. And I, I tell you, it's an incredible blessing, though sometimes the downside isn't that I'm not depressed, but it's that uh, I can somewhat underestimate or under, uh, I guess underestimate's a good way to put it, underestimate the bad situations I'm in. Because I don't get anxious much. Hey, what? What is this? Whoa! Hey, so you're the bomber class, right? Must be because you drop bombs, kind of like a Bomberman thing. No, not at all. The only reason I'm bomber class is because I have explosive gas. That's the only reason? You don't get special effect from your bombs? You don't default to bombs as a weapon or something? Nope, not at all. How about you? You're a ranger, right? You get a bow and arrow? No, not actually the case. Um, I just live on the range. That's why I'm called a ranger. 